Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of City Flags. In this video, we'll be talking about Canada's municipal flags. And while most Canadians can pick out their provincial flag, the municipal ones are not as widely known. Some of these are great, others are terrible, and a few are just interesting. So to do this, I went through the top 100 Canadian municipalities by population. Then I looked at the 64 flags nominated in Canada's Best Municipal Flag Contest that was held by Municipal World Magazine. I compiled them here so you don't have to, and without further ado, let's go over the list. At number one, we have Abbotsford, British Columbia, my personal favorite and the winner of the Municipal Flag Contest. Abbotsford is known as the hub of Fraser Valley, and the flag is a symbolic depiction of this slogan. Designed by Robert Watt, Chief Herald of Canada, the bars represent the roads in the area, while the central disc represents Abbotsford itself. Hamilton, Ontario comes close second in my opinion. Designed by Bishop Ralph Spence, the flower comes from the coat of arms of the Scottish clan Hamilton, representing the city's name, while the chain represents the industry with six links for the different bureaus that make up the city. The flag of Castlegar, British Columbia does of course feature a castle in the center, hinting at the community's status as the center of commercial activity in the West Kootenai region. The wavy lines represent the convergence of the Kootenai and the Columbia rivers. Sunbury in Ontario has a green and yellow banner of arms. The trees represent the pine forest that once covered all of northern Ontario, and the star symbolizes the North Star, since the city is known as the hub of the north. The Vancouver flag is also great. The white and blue wavy lines showcase the city's position as an important harbor on the Pacific Ocean. The green pentagon is for the land and forest, and it has the city's badge on it. Next, we have Quebec City. It represents the city walls of both Quebec as well as Brouage, France, which was the home village of Samuel de Champlain, whose ship is also featured on this flag. Samuel was a French navigator and explorer. He's also called the father of New France and considered the founder of Quebec City. Prince Albert, Saskatchewan is not a Triforce-related flag. They used the city's green and gold official colors for their forest and agriculture. The four triangles symbolize the four major industries, which are fur, fish, forestry, and farming. The tree is also an arrow pointing north, since the city is known as the gateway to the north. Lévis is another regional municipality in Quebec with a nice and simple flag. The black and gold are taken from the city's coat of arms, themselves inspired by the arms of the city's namesake, Francois Gaston, Duke of Lévis. Regina is the queen city of the prairies and the capital of Saskatchewan. They fly this bicolor with a crown to honor Regina as the provincial capital. It also hints to the fact that it was named after Queen Victoria. Burnaby in British Columbia is also very neat. The eagle represents the spirit of the community and its wildlife, while Deer Lake and Burnaby Lake are also represented in the flag. Chilliwack, British Columbia is a green banner of arms. It's a Nordic style cross and according to the city's website, these are four hearts in the middle, not a clover. Prince George, British Columbia has these wavy lines for the rivers in the area. The two snowflakes reflect Prince George's position as British Columbia's northern capital, and the flower is supposed to be a strawberry plant. Digby Neck and the islands in Nova Scotia truly has a unique flag. This one has a long bar at the right that represents the neck itself, then the long island in the middle, and the small square on the left represents the barrier island. Prime whale watching country, hence the blue waves. The regional municipality of Niagara, Ontario has a nice flag. Green represents the agricultural lands and parks, blue and white represent Niagara Falls as well as the canals and waterways, and the 12 blue chevrons represent the 12 area municipalities linked together in the region. The crown itself represents the first parliament in Ontario and the strong loyalist tradition. Fernie in British Columbia is home to 5,000 people and they have a blue banner of arms showing the three sister peaks, the most famous of the Rocky Mountain formations visible from the town. Staying in British Columbia, we move to Langley and their banner of arms, which showcases the historic crossroads of Yale Road, Smuggler's Trail, and the BC Electric Railway at the heart of Langley, which is represented by the blue star in the middle. You might have thought this is a generic toothpaste logo, but you're wrong. This is the flag of St. Albert's, Alberta. I actually love the design and the color combination, but I would change the coat of arms with something unique to the city. Which way will the bird go? The directions are confusing him. St. Andrew's Cross on Halifax's flag identifies the municipality as the seat of government of the province of Nova Scotia. The kingfisher, the arrows, and the ships 
represent the four predecessor municipalities that made up Halifax. Edmonston and New Brunswick used their logo and added some lines. It looks nice, flying in the wind, and it's worth a mention. Barrie has this banner of arms. The city is on the western shore of Lake Simcoe, hence the wavy lines. The cogwheel and the winged wheel are for the industry and transportation, while the naval crown alludes to the connection with Sir Robert Barry, for whom the city was named. Fortune in Newfoundland and Labrador has a great color scheme and it also references the area's fishing industry. The four yellow circles are supposed to be gold coins. I really like the concept behind the Saskatoon flag. The parallel lines show the importance of Saskatoon as the hub city and the railway distribution center. Someone needs to drop the coat of arms and the branch and just put one giant stylized Saskatoon berry where the coat of arms is. The flag of Richmond, British Columbia shows an interesting way of displaying a heraldic banner. It could be improved a bit, but it already looks nice and quite good on a flagpole. Calgary's flag looks like the child of Arby's and Northern Cyprus. The famous Calgary white hat inside the sea symbolizes the history of rodeo within Calgary. But it looks nice flying in the wind, so it deserves a spot here. Peterborough's coat of arms was granted by the English College of Arms. Green is for the 17th century expedition through the area, the Irish immigrants, as well as the fields and forests. The sword refers to the British soldiers who fought in the Napoleonic Wars and the War of 1812 and were granted tracts of land in the Peterborough region, while the wavy blue and white lines signify the rivers and lakes. Brandon, Manitoba has a horse and a six-pointed snowflake. Each arm of the snowflake bears a stalk of wheat it's simple and it looks nice. Altona, Sylvan Lake, Delta, and Ottawa with their stylistic O remind me of the Japanese prefecture flags. They could easily work as corporate logos and flags at the same time. The next ones deserve an honorable mention because they're interesting to look at and they're still better than the other municipal flags in Canada. But for each one of them, something just feels off. While making this video, I came across so many tri-band flags. So I wanted to highlight some of them. They're not too good, but they're also not bad. They're just kind of boring and they can be improved with some minor work. Known as a sunshine city, Aurelia, Ontario features a sun on their flag. And Toronto's flag looks like a t-shirt, but they're both unique and simple enough and many folks would rank them way higher. Montreal has a good flag. It has the St. George's Cross with different symbols for the indigenous people, the French, the English, the Scottish, and the Irish settlers. Charlottetown's flag is the city's banner of arms, with alternating green and white rectangles. The royal crown inside represents Queen Charlotte, the namesake of the city. Oromacto in New Brunswick has a canoe, a tower, a leopard's head, and two porcupines, while Brantford in Ontario is basically the Canadian flag with a beaver in the city's arms. So those were my rankings for the best Canadian municipal flags. What do you think of my ranking? Were there any other flags I should have mentioned? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, you'll also like the other city flag videos on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe if you want to catch future videos. And I will see you next time on Council of Knowledge.